What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I am just back from working on the Red Brick House. And let me say shout out to uh, everybody who's been watching on the channel and stuff. Um, I will do a shout out to everybody who's actually made a donation to the cause that's helping us save this piece of history and make this a great place for people to come over. Kind of like, you know, we do here on Sundays for games and stuff. Well, I plan on doing some things like that with the Red Brick House. Um so we've got our live stream at nine o'clock Eastern. I hope you guys tune in for that, of course, because that's what we do. And I was sitting here going through all of the news and stuff for the day, having been gone and stuff. And I came across this piece, man. Wow. This is, this is pretty bad. I mean, this, this sounds bad for Michael Gallup. Um, Michael Gallup literally um, just got killed. Literally, Michael Gallup was killed throughout this whole 33rd team uh, by Mike Martz, former Ram uh, offensive coordinator and head coach. He went through with Dak Prescott's interceptions. Now, I know a lot of people always say Dak Prescott sucks. You know, Dak Prescott, dink and dunk Dak. Dak is not the answer, this, that, and the other. And he went through every one of the interceptions. Okay, it's about a 19-minute piece in there and he went on there some are on Dak you know of course every quarterback has some turnovers and stuff but not all 17 were on him he literally breaks down the the routes and things and he talks about lazy routes giving up on routes you know bad route running and things and you know like I said it's not he's fully exonerating Dak for every single interception but you know even Aaron Rodgers makes a few from time to time. Even Peyton Manning. Oh, actually, Peyton Manning's had a couple where he's been over 20. But I want to show a few little bit of this um, excerpt from this so you can get a taste of it. But I invite you, I'll put the link in the description, to watch the whole thing. Because this kind of gives you a little bit different perspective. And I think that the Cowboys recognize a couple of things. One, Michael Gallup wasn't ready to start the season. But because there was nobody else, you know, they had a wounded warrior, buddy, you know, we just got to tape you up and you got to do the best you can. You just got to do the best you can. Alexa, turn on bar lights. Okay. Thank you. I, I need the lights back there. Um, you, you, you had to get him out there because we didn't have anybody else. Okay. And even though he was, you know, you could tell he was not the same guy. And I don't know if it was lazy route running or just that that leg was just not ready. Or maybe that he didn't have enough training camp to be able to actually get into a rhythm. Whatever it was, it's definitely not good. Um, let's watch a little of the excerpts here and just listen in on some of this stuff. Because, you know, this gets to the X's and O's. A lot of times what happens is people will just look at the numbers and they don't really break everything down. So... Dak Prescott over the last season, 22, led the league with interceptions. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I know Dak. I've, I've been down to camp to see him uh, several years ago, and mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of his, I guess. But went back and looked at those throws, and, and uh, there's, it's pretty interesting. I want to show you, show you these, and, and we'll talk about it afterwards. But uh, there's a lot of factors here that might surprise you. Some of these interceptions are, are just uh, – hard to understand and you look at this in terms of the receivers on this play you're going to get pressure out the slot which means you got man-to-man -man on the outside and so if you just hold it right there real quick right there stop it and the slot receiver the quarterback Dak is going to try and get him on a crossing route but they're the inside defender popping out of there is going to pick him up so he gets doubled in essence he sees it and he's going to try and go to an outside receiver, stop it right there on a comeback over to the left side. So, you know, there's two ways of looking at this. And one of the things I think the easiest way is if you see you get pressured or blitzed, uh, you throw the easiest route, which is one of the comebacks on the outside, and not waste time on the inside thing. But that's that's just a philosophy thing. So mm -hmm. he's a little bit late throwing this on the outside. But these receivers uh, on these routes – when you hit a comeback, you cannot slide out to the boundary. You're giving the quarterback up. That ball is thrown right, right now. 
and the corner breaks on it better he than just the stopped. receiver does. The receiver down here at the bottom. He just he literally stopped. It, he comes back. What what kind of route is it? The top for some reason must not have thought he was getting the ball. He slides out and just kind of quits on the route. And um, you know the that's Dak's fault. You, you just can't do that to the quarterback. Now he's a little bit late because he got hung up on the inside. But even at that, if he comes back to the football, this may not be completed, but it's not going to be picked. I, mm. I don't know what's in the mind or what's going on with that receiver. That corner yeah. out hustled the receiver to the ball. How does that happen? How does that work? Yeah. So as a quarterback, you know, obviously you got to bite your lip and go to the sideline. But uh, I think I'd have some words for that wide receiver if I was coaching those guys. But hmm. this is clearly, in my mind, the ball's a little bit late, but that should have never been a, an interception here. Wow. Okay, so here's a, a situation now if you'd freeze it right there. So we've got three on two to the slots here. It's kind of a bracket coverage. The outside corners are going to – it's it's a little bit of a uh, of a bracket on the outside guys. The safeties are going to pick up the slant, and the corners are going to sit on the out. So you got everything covered here. So you go to the inside guy, which is normal, uh, and he, on a getaway. And, and this is a juke route or a getaway or, or a pivot, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. The hard thing about this play is if you know they have this coverage, this is not a play you want to have in there. So they must have got surprised by it. But from Dak's standpoint, you can't come back and stare at it because those two guys in the slot, those defenders, they're on a string to your eyes. And so he's going to mm -hmm. bring this guy here on the left slot. He's going to bring him to the part here because he comes in and stares at that pivot route, right? You can see him sit on it right there. Ball bounces off, and, and they end up with a pick. So – by play design, it's not good. Stop it right there. He's going to win on the route. He has to come back and look at the slant here to the left, even though he's not going to throw it. Mm -hmm. And those eyes will keep him from collapsing like he's doing. And Dak just comes back and stares that thing down. Now, maybe they tell him to do that. I don't know. But you know, that one you can put on that. what you want. And by the way, but uh, the receiver down here on the slant route, he just took off. He broke the slant off and took off up the field, which had he thrown the slant, that would have been a pick. So they're just kind of doing whatever they want, I think, sometimes at wide receiver, which is Interesting. hard to understand. But so if you're coaching a quarterback. In this you're play, hearing this, right? He's got, he's got to hold that slot defender off with his eyes before he throws that pivot. Guy wins on the pivot, but he gets trapped, and Dak has to know that and see that. And it's a tough play against that coverage. It's just, this is just a bad throw by Dak. It, now, this one is definitely on Dak. Cloud over there but, potential based on the safety's alignment. But this he just underthrows this thing. Most go back just a little bit, and you can see where he's looking right away when he gets the ball. Look at his feet. Where it's, see how he's looking right at the safety there? He's looking right at him, and he's got to know that he's got a high safety, half-field safety. But he's, sometimes you can still throw these outs if the guy's got leverage. But when he throws it, he grossly underthrows it. If he keeps it outside, that's a maybe stupid throw. But he underthrows this thing, and it's going to be disastrous. This is really a, an errant throw. It's just not a throw you should make into cover two or clock mm -hmm. corner, but maybe they wanted to do that. I don't know. Watch one more. And then he does a good job here coming off and seeing the coverage and throwing the ball in the seam. His eyes comes back. He tries to move the free safety a little bit, which he does do. He sticks it right on. The ball bounces right off the ball bounces off. off. Player into the That's not him. Hand. The defender travels with him. Okay, so watch the whole thing, and you'll see. You know, and I'm not not saying that some of that wasn't Dak. That that one against Washington was definitely um, a bad throw, underthrown, and things. Uh, but some of these are tipped up by the receivers. Some of these, you know, he points out that the route running is not crisp and clean like it should be and some of them are lazy routes so we have to look at this and say Dak you got to improve you got to do better at reading you got to do better at delivering the ball and wide receivers you got to do better than what you're doing we can't do these lazy routes and, and and just stop it like Michael Gallup and the thought is if you watch the whole thing um, Mike March thinks that Mike McCarthy taking over the play calling will definitely be a bigger improvement over Kellen Moore. I'm not sure that, um, you know, 
Kellen Moore is a nice guy and everything else, but he still has a lot to learn. I can at least say Mike McCarthy's been around the block several times. So, yeah, Michael Gallup, he's definitely got to improve. And, uh, of course, adding Brandon Cooks for Noah Brown is definitely an improvement. Okay, I hope to see you guys at our live stream coming up in about an hour. And uh, hope you're having a great day. Peace.